Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Six Flags Magic Mountain opening day. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the Calibet. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mato. Let's do this. Finally making our way back to Six Flags Magic Mountain. We'll see how this parking situation goes, but we're finally back. Finally made our way over here to Six Flags Magic Mountain. I'm parked right on the top of that mountain right there. I'm just kidding, we're on the other side of those trees. But the entrance, <laughs> I don't even know how far. But we are parked far, man. One thing I will say as a tip is definitely reserve that premier parking or the whatever, the, the more high-end parking. I think it's called Elite. Get that elite parking, cause being able to park over here goes a long way, man. 100 percent, man. <laughs> it, we, it's about a 20, 25 minute walk to the entrance. Basically, when I'm done with all this, <laughs> I'm gonna be skinny. Yeah. <laughs> hey, gonna be ready. You gonna be ready for that that uh, summer trip, baby. Exactly, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose a couple pounds a day, cause all people kept telling me was uh, be ready for the hills. The hills have eyes over here. The hills, the hills have numbers at this point. <laughs> the hills will remove my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there we go, man. The big thing Chris keeps saying is there's no screaming. Bunch of people on rides and no screaming. I'm gonna be screaming. <laughs> I don't care what they say. Yeah. Oh. That's the one I'm gonna be screaming. Damn, they got pretty high on that one. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, Cali Bay fits, man. That's the goal today. One thing we do want to note, parking is 25 bucks. And if you do try to do the more preferred parking, it's it quite pricey over here at Magic Mountain. Almost to the entrance of Six Flags Magic Mountain. Here they have the D6, encouraging safety. And then we have some new technology that has arrived. Up next, we're about to go through a temperature screening. This is some new technology that they've implemented. Finally made it to the entrance of Six Flags Magic Mountain. You do have to do reservations. We have a three o'clock, so we're right on time. We're gonna have about three hours to spend over here at Six Flags. And we're about to go through the new security check that's touchless. Let's see how it goes. One thing I do want to note, Five Fires community, we do got an annual pass now to Six Flags Magic Mountain. Can't believe we're here, dude. <laughs> It, it doesn't the like first park on the west coast open with rides. Yeah, six flags. We're gonna do a ride today, April first. <laughs> I know, like no April Fools. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's buy. <clears throat> oh, time to get one of these because we have no idea what we're doing today. <laughs> it's been so long since we've been here. We only got three hours to spend, so uh, we're definitely gonna kill it. Yeah, we got a whole we, lot. We gotta make it quick. We gotta wing it. Yep. And we gotta fly. Fly. One thing I am excited we will do before we get out of here is that Funnel Cake Factory World Famous. We'll see how good it is. Better than Knott's. We'll that, see. That's what we're thinking. Or uh, actually, you know who had that fire uh, funnel cake? Universal. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, so yeah, we'll see. Did. We'll see how Six Flags uh, stacks, up. stacks up against all those. Not going to lie, it feels good to be back over here at Six Flags. The crowds are uh, pretty minimal. Uh, what I was told, they opened up at 15%. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is obviously get on some rides. So we're gonna do uh, Ninja. That's gonna be our first ride. Hopefully we're able to make it a Superman. Maybe even Viper, we'll see, I don't know. But man, it doesn't good to be back. <laughs> All right, we gotta go this way. Let's do it. And the way that we're doing Six Flags today, we have a reservation from three to six. So we're only here three hours. Uh, they did have reservations like at 11 and 12, so you could be here a little bit longer, but everybody's fighting for reservations right now for the theme park since it's finally open, you know what I mean? But one thing I was told today, we're gonna be walking a lot of hills, so definitely brought my shoes for walking the NMDs because we're, we're gonna definitely do a lot of steps today. So the first ride we're trying to do is Ninja, and we're already lost. <laughs> it said come this way. I, I don't see Ninja. Trying to pull out the map, dog. <laughs> I'm like a noob. We're not even lying. We're DOS already. <laughs> first ride that we're trying to go to. First first hill that okay, we walked. Okay, let's up. see. All right, where's Ninja? Uh, we just walked in right here. 
I think we're in this we're area. We're right here. We're like in this area. Where's Ninja though? Viper's right there. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Ninja's over here. Okay. I think we gotta go around this way. Is that the long way to it or the short there, way? There's no shortcut. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yeah, there's yeah, no shortcut. We just gotta do it. All right, I guess we gotta keep going up. Great, great. <laughs> Yeah, Five Fires community was not lying when they said there was a lot of hills. Jeez Louise. <laughs> that was the first thing we've been introduced is the hills. First ride back, we're gonna hit up Viper. Walk up that big hill. And then this is what I gotta go up. <laughs> Just to get on the ride. Finally made our way over here by the lift gate where it all starts. So that's how they're doing the social distancing. There's rows in between the guests. Oh man. Ooh. Oh my gosh. There you go. We just got off Viper. I completely forgot how many freaking loops that had. <laughs> so we thought Viper was like a kitty ride. It's supposed to be a little wimpy. <laughs> Yeah, right. What was your experience? First ride 2021 in California. You know what? I'm glad it was that. Yeah. I'm glad it was that. You know what? You know what? I got to say this. I'm going to be real, real sappy for a second. I'm glad it was with you, dog. Oh, I honestly, dude. Me, me and Mondo, when we went to Florida, <laughs> it sucked not him not being able to go on the ride. With me. So for him to be on to go on the ride here at the uh, first at, at a, park on West Coast. At a now, ride with three loops. <laughs> <laughs> it was that, like, that was crazy. Three loops, dude. All we kept hearing, there's another loop. There's a oh my gosh. That, that was crazy. We're going to finish off with that ride. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, dog. hell yeah. Thankfully, I was able to use one of my tastings uh, at Taste of Universal to get myself a salad. Chris over here. It's been about 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes. And then we couldn't get mobile order because it's not till like pretty much the end of the night. 5, 5.30. This is only open till six. <laughs> yeah, so it's our first time being over here at Six Flags and working out the kinks. Uh, but this fancy pass gets you 50% uh, off on drinks, water, soda. Uh, one of the things I was trying to mobile order uh, a drink, or I just wanted water to be honest. And uh, a smart water was $7.99. So kind of pricey over here. Uh, soda was, I think, $4.99. But you want water bring your own bring your own water that's the point bring your own water so we just got done eating i actually was eating one of my tastings from universal the salad that i brought here i just bought a water i bought the eight dollar water but with the diamond elite which is the annual pass i got it's half off so i only paid four bucks for water that's a really reasonable price in my opinion but the mobile order doesn't work and uh even waiting for the food was about a 40 minute 30 minute embargo. It was just a fat line, dude. <laughs> and this is 15%. Imagine when the park goes full. No, no, no. We're going to Disneyland. <laughs> That's Tatsu right there. <laughs> uh oh, here they go. Wow, that looks crazy. That's a big line, though. Yeah, that that's line, too dude. big. Damn, the 15% capacity is all in that line. <laughs> <Isn't> that one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we got other stuff to do, man. Yeah. So we're going to some uncharted territory over here at Six Flags. Uh, the underground. <laughs> uh, this is where the West Coast Racers is. And it's actually really cool. Like, this is all new area. It's pretty cool. Different vibe down here for sure. Very chill. Yeah. Very it's chill. like calm out here. Over here at the underground, we got Apocalypse. Got some outdoor dining over here. Let's we'll see if we can get on that ride. So West Coast it's Racers. Like a good 30 seconds. Yeah. Still going. Still yeah, going. I think it comes in and stops right here. So big shout out to Rafa. Really cool uh, Six Flags member. 
gave us a lot of information. So if the line's like right there, this is about an hour and a half. Uh, we might be able to end with West Coast Customs, our West Coast Racers. <laughs> oh, they're about to launch. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let go. <laughs> so thankfully, we keep meeting. Uh, we keep meeting some cool people out here uh, to just kind of give us the lowdown on what's going on. Give us the four one one about what's open, and what's not. Dude, the four one one is Ninja is closed, and they don't even tell you nothing. And that that trek right there is insane. Yeah, that's a hike and a half. That's a hike and a half. We need to go on this one right here. Yeah, we're gonna definitely do that ride. <laughs> that, that's, that's, hey, at least we could get on. But what's happening is uh, we're in the scenario of we could, we're only here from three to six. Not much. And Tatsu's over two hour wait. Yeah. Uh, West Coast. Coast is an hour and a half, and uh, we were just told that Superman is nuts too. So if you have that late reservation, it's almost like just wait till you get that 11 o'clock, huh? Yeah, just like, just hope to God you get an earlier one. I just, somebody said it, but it's like, what's the point of a reservation if somebody comes at the early morning one and stays the whole day versus somebody who comes at three to six? Somebody even hit me up right now and said, hey, there's a reservation open for five, but does that mean that it literally closes at six? I'm like, yeah, you'll be here for an hour. So you come for an hour. Like, what's the point? I'm like, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I don't know, man, but. Uh, we're gonna do the best we can with the little bit of time we got. Yeah, at least try and get a two rides. Right. Yeah, two, two rides. <laughs> uh, but it is cool to be back though and see rides and people having fun, you 100%. know. Yeah, but uh, up next, whatever that's called, look who we found, Mr. JP himself. <laughs> JP Land, dude, give us the four one one on the day so far because you got here at eleven, right? Yeah. So tell tell us uh, how the day's been going. It's good. Got on a lot of rides. It was, it's getting a lot more busier now because people are getting their four o'clock times, right? Yeah, that's crazy that people come just for two hours. Yeah. So, um, Chris was saying there was a five o'clock. It's hot <laughs> Dude, though. Tatsu's like over two hours. Oh my God. West Coast Racers, uh, over an hour and a half. That's and really they said uh, uh, Superman is nuts. I know, I was riding Tatsu like an hour ago. Oh, you got on it? Uh, no, yeah, I got on Tatsu and I looked at Superman. The line is literally down the bridge. What it's the so hell? It's super bad. Okay, the real question, is this uh, 15%? I don't know. I don't know what's 15% for Six Flags. Six Flags is a big part though. Yeah, that is yeah. true. That is true. I but it, it's been fun. Uh, we started off the day with the banger, dude, Viper. Yeah, I mean, if this was normal operations, though, like if all the rides were open, the lines would be so fast because they don't have to disinfect every time. Yeah, that is true. Uh, they don't have to distance everyone. We got to consider that, I guess, yeah. the whole social, because they're cleaning every ride I, in between everything. Yeah, I came on team member previews. Goliath, it's one train. They clean every single time and everything's so backed up. Wow. Like what I thought it was a ride on, uh, like you just walk on. It took 30 minutes when I was just right there. <laughs> I'm like, come Boo. on, I was right there. So I think uh, the goal when you come to you know, uh, to Six Flags, get here early. Get get two rides that you really want to do, and then everything else after that's profit. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy out here. It's hot too. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Damn, it's gonna be a, a long short day. Yeah, it's, at this point, it's like, let's just figure out what we can get on and get on. Yeah, I think so. Have you guys written any? Hey, JP. Look who we found, Ventures with John Jr. So tell us, how's the day been going? It's been going good so far. Um, it's, a lot, it's very hot here, so. <laughs> yeah, especially with the mask, it's just like, it's too much. But overall, yeah, I'm so I got the, the, the sweaty mustache. <laughs> yeah, 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 but overall, it's pretty good. We, we just got on uh, so far three rides. Okay, so what, what was your reservation time? Uh, it was at 3 p.m. Oh, yeah. damn, three rides? What, we suck, dude. We suck I at mean, six we, we also ate. So. Oh, okay, we did eat. We did <laughs> yeah. eat. Yes. Uh, what rides have you done? Uh, we did Twisted Colossus. We do you, did do you, Scream. Before you keep going, yeah. do you feel like you're going to die on Twisted Colossus? Uh, that one, <laughs> uh, yes. A little <laughs> bit. That's well, because like, even if the lap bar is like, really tight, you can still feel like you're going to fly off. Oh, God. my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, so far, just Twisted Colossus, Scream, and Justice League, which because we wanted to go in with like, the AC because we're like, a oh. little bit drained from the sun. Wait, what, what other ride you do? Uh, Justice League. It's like a shooting game. Justice League. Yeah, so, oh yeah, I've done yeah. that one. It's pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. It's what kind, the kind of reminds me of like Transformers the way like the right moves. Oh yeah, yeah. damn! I never even knew that existed. Yeah. The, yeah, dude. Today we realized uh, Tatsu's two hours, West Coast Racers hour and a half. They said Superman's where? Uh, like an hour and a half. It's like from the 
the whole bridge apparently. Yeah, and it's all the way to the bridge. Wait, which right? Superman. Again? Superman. It's just yeah. <laughs> yeah I feel like, all, I feel like all the popular rides too. Yeah, it's all the crazy. popular rides are crazy. Yeah. Would you recommend this ride right here, the one that's right behind us? Gold Rush. Yeah, I actually would. It's actually really fun. You see? I told you, man. It looks so wimpy. I don't care. We got. <laughs> I want to get rides under my belt, dog. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, I like, it's like a little, like a little uh, chill ride. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. So and uh, what's your overall experience just being back now at a theme park April first? Oh man, it feels so good. Um, like I, I honestly I feel safe like you know with everything with they're doing they're, they're writing every other role yeah so it feels safer um and yeah and they just like they say they do um they clean them the rides every 30 minutes okay so every 30 minutes they like shut off they shut off the line and then they'll like you know sanitize them and they'll keep the, the they kind of like dry them off so they'll run them through and then that's pretty much that's it. the main thing like on, yeah Bring your patience because yes. uh, the whole pandemic has changed how things are operating. Yes, and also be patient with the employees too because some of them are either coming back to relearn how to operate the rides. So it does take a little bit while to kind of have them, you know, seat you and then, and then, you know, say all clear because, you know, these it's either, either new employees or they're coming back to relearn. So just yep. be patient with them. Be patient, everybody. Yes. Thanks, Sean Jr. Awesome. We're still getting the 411 on how this day's going. And we got muscle amusements. What up, guys? Dude. How has your day gone? Honestly, it's been good, except for the water lines or the drink lines. That's been the <laughs> longest thing. Um, and tell us why, what's, this, what's happened? It's on, honestly, it's just the kinks of day one, to be honest. Um, a few of the rides, the people were training, you can tell. So even the takeoff of the rides was forever. But for the most part, it's been great. The, the walk, it's been walk on everywhere. Yeah. So it's just these bad boys have been taking forever to get. How, how long? Uh, this one was an hour and a half to wait just to get this and then another 30 minutes to wait to get it filled up. So <laughs> half of my day has been just trying to get these. You know, okay. He has to get one too. I want to go home. <laughs> yeah. so, so luckily I'm here tomorrow, so I'm just going to... Hell yeah, worry tomorrow about. will be way cleaner days. Yes. So, so, but, but no, but other than that, you guys, come and enjoy, come and support, come and have fun. It's worth it. I mean, we've all been dying. We've all been dying to do something. And we're and doing we're it now. we're finally here now, you know? Yeah, finally how, here. April 1st, how does it feel? Uh, it almost feels like a joke because we're here, <laughs> but at the same time, we're here. So it's yeah. not a joke. Yeah, so it's, I am it's a reality. Excited. This is all real. Yes. Uh, <laughs> What's been your favorite ride so far? Honestly, X2. Dang, he's going to do it. I want to do it. That was my first ride when I got here, and I had to sit down for about 30 minutes after. Dude, I you wasn't started used to. off with a bag. Which one did you start off with? Uh, Viper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. You know, like. That, no, by the way, it's still bang, bang, bang. My back like is feeling it, dude. It's going to be like that forever. But no, nah, man, everyone, you guys, come to Magic Mountain support. Don't forget, we got every other park opening up really soon. So, yeah. uh, it's about time. It's about time to get these things going and, you know, get out and support and just scream. Even though you can't scream in California, hint, we're all screaming. Everyone's uh, screaming. Everyone man. is screaming. It's I just, screamed. It's so, so, hey, you guys, I give it a five fires right now. The Hell lines. Yeah. That's like a one and a half fire, to be honest. Yeah, like, I know. Like, we said the pack meter is like three out of ten, but the food and uh, drink meter is a ten out of ten. It's just insane. It's out of control. <laughs> it's out of control. But it's day one. Day one kinks. Day one. <laughs> but at the same time, you guys, we're gonna hit, we're here having having a good time. We've all been yeah. dying to do something with the amusement parks, and we just did it. We're Damn. doing it today. It feels great to just be out here again, you guys. So Heck come yeah. out and check it out. Thanks, my uh, muscles and amusement. No oh yeah. man. We're about to go ride number two, okay. Gold Rusher. <laughs> Chris doesn't want to do it, but this is like the OG ride. This ride's been here for a long time. It's history, a lot of history in the making over here. We just got done doing Gold Rusher. I probably got sucker punched like 15 times by that lap bar. <laughs> probably the bumpiest ride in the wilderness, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely got made me go like this several times. So. <laughs> and uh, surprisingly, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I guess this ride brings a lot of nostalgia to many uh, Six Flags uh, fans, but uh, I'm glad we finally got on and I could say I did it, but I don't know if I'll ever get on that again. <laughs> We're gonna keep uh, firing it up and try to make the best out of our day. We are learning a lot uh, as we missed out a lot of perks on our annual passes. Uh, I almost feel like I need to come back and uh, knock out the day how I was supposed to as a member, elite diamond member. Oh my gosh, too, too much information today. <laughs> We're about to do some more uncharted territory over here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. 
Uh, we're gonna hit up Justice League Battle for Metropolis, which I guess is like uh, Transformers with the touch of Buzz Lightyear. So it's like a shooting ride. That's how everybody has described it. So we'll see, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I do know. have to say, uh, the gold brusher, that was a lot of fun. Uh, they have refurbished it, so all the paint and everything looked really nice. But uh, man, that's one ride you just won and done. <laughs> it was a lot of fun though, I will not lie. It was a lot of fun. The Justice League rides over here next to the Riddler. Damn. So we just got in the Justice League ride. We have some statues over here for Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I had no idea that this ride even existed. This is so cool. Whoa. Alexa, turn on. Alexa, turn on. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, we're already here. Whoa, it is like Transformers. So we just got done with the Justice League ride, checking out the merch now. We just walked out and I got my eyes on that one right there, even though it's hot as heck every day. Definitely want to get that. Oh, look at these hats too, damn. Here we have Crazanity. Looks like a crazy ride. Look at that. I think fits like 20 people just on that one little area. Probably like 40 people all around to be honest, but look at this. Boom. I think it's huge. So it goes woof, woof. <laughs> Making our way over here where all the, like the games are to win prizes, stuffed animals, stuff like that. But we are lucky enough now. We got ourselves the member drink plan. I'm just gonna refill this up with water, man. That's what I need. Another thing we just found out, you gotta wait in line just like an order, just to get a refill. So, I guess this is just the new ways of uh, how things are working at Six Flags. But uh, we're gonna work out the kinks and uh, try to figure out a way to maximize our time. What do we got? Wonder Woman, Lasso of Truth. Damn. Look at this ride. Oh man. Damn. Damn. Wow. Dude, I didn't know if it was gonna stop. <laughs> Damn. Look at the size of that drop. This is the monster they call Goliath. 
It's still hanging. Boom. This is one of the craziest rides in all of uh, Six Flags. This is the definition of what Six Flags is all about. <laughs> so you go down those steps. We're doing Goliath uh, as a flash pass. And then what do we do? We got more steps. More steps. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man, up next, Goliath. One of the craziest rides in all of Six Flags. <laughs> so, how was Goliath? It was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. It's, what's... I feel like when we were younger, we overhyped it. Oh, I, mean, I never got on it when I was younger. <laughs> but you know what? That drop is the worst part. Yeah. The worst part because it's just the scariness. And after that, it's, it's just nice, smooth huh? sailing. There's <laughs> one part. It was one part where you go like in a, like a circle, right? Yeah, and you get like two Gs. Dude, at the end. you feel it right Bro, there. You're like, <laughs> just like, your eyes are like getting, you're like, you're like going to pass out and then you like open up again. Like, yeah, don't <laughs> back to reality. Well, overall, how many fires on that one? I'll get on a five. Five? That's a five fire. That's a five fire. Yeah, fires. hell yeah. I guess we're in uh, Bugs Bunny land. I didn't even know Bugs Bunny had a land. Pretty cool. There's actually some rides for the little kids. So it's already six. The park is, I guess, essentially closed. Let me tell you guys, getting a soda with that member cup, impossible. It makes the $8 water cheap. I'm not gonna lie, that $8 water is cheap. <laughs> Knowing how hard it is to get a drink as the member, worst experience trying to get a drink, man. But overall, dude, Six Flags was definitely five fires. I had a blast. The whole procedures, everything they've done, felt safe. Never felt like out of place, you know? It's just a great experience. Day one, five fires and six flags, man. Great job. This is the line to get a drink right now. They already closed it off. I'm thirsty, Chris. I'm thirsty, fool. I know, dog. I've never been more thirsty in my life. <laughs> I'm parched. Muscle amusements. You thirsty too? I am. Parched beyond belief. <laughs> <laughs> and then my everybody. Mask is on to cover my white lips. Everybody's gonna hit that McDonald's. <laughs> so, how was your guys' experience today? Day one, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Honestly, it was, it was a good day besides like the long lines. Right? Long lines? Yeah. yeah right, what was the longest line you waited? Soda. Water. Soda? <laughs> yeah, there you go. yeah, that's Soda. Like, Dude, Soda. That's I, an hour and a half to get the cup. Yep, yeah, that's the, the red freaking yeah, membership cup right here. That one right there. Back over there. Yeah, dude. Yo. But overall, it's, it's yeah, good to be back, good. right? Yes, yeah, sir. Hell yeah. Start something up. We'll Thanks, man. Yeah, of open. course. You believe right there. <laughs> Bro, funnel cake. Nah. <laughs> we're, we're at it. We're done, dog. Yeah. We're done. Hour and a half for that. Two, two hours for a funnel cake. Two hours for a funnel cake. By <laughs> right, the time you get home, it's going to be sunset. Sunset. Yeah, we're done. We're done, man. We're firing it down. This is the funnel. The funnel cake must be good. It must be good, obviously. I had my thoughts, but no. So this is the part where we messed up, man. We were supposed to come here, member services, to get our whole Diamond Elite and all that stuff situated, get our soda and whatever, get the cup. And then over there, the flash area, that's where you go get your like fast passes and all that, and you have to do it all ahead of time. And our pass that we have, we would've got four fast passes to the rides uh, that it qualifies for, but man, we missed out big time. <laughs> all right, so we're finally finishing up over here at Six Flags Magic Mountain opening day. And let me tell you, it was an incredible time the rides, the thrills, everything was so cool to experience opening day, opening day. And let me tell you, the whole ride experience, the social distance, all the precautions that Six Flags took, felt safe the whole time, had no issues with any of it. And the way that they sat people in the rides was honestly really, really like comforting. And I never felt like uh, things were inappropriate at all. It was definitely something that I, I am could proudly say like, Six Flags did a, a five fire job in maintaining safety. 
Uh, the one things I will say is mobile order, it just wasn't working. And the people that did get it to work, they got like windows like two, two and a half hours later. So if you're trying to get food at three, you weren't really gonna eat till like 5.15, 5.30. This port closes at six. So you're kind of not left with much to do. And I will say though, this experience of trying to get soda is horrible. It was horrible today. Uh, the reason it was not the best is because you had to wait in line just like you were trying to get a food. So just to get a soda, you had to wait in long lines all day. And for a lot of the people that said uh, this was 15%, I really believe this was like 25%. Maybe yeah, more, bro. Maybe more than 25%. It, there's a lot of people out I here. Mean, if, you, if you just pan over here, there's a lot of people over here, dog. Look at <laughs> I mean, I mean, 50% of those people are waiting for a funnel cake, but yeah. <laughs> but overall, the overall experience, you know, I have I have to take back a lot of things, and I, I'm gonna have to say I'm glad I got an annual pass. Um, aren't you glad you got an annual pass too? 100%. Yeah, because we got to come back. We did a lot of things wrong. We did a lot of things wrong. We had a lot to learn. We didn't get our fast passes. We didn't get this drink thing. Uh, we just don't know how to time management here. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Disneyland, it's not Knott's, it's not Universal. Yeah, we are not, we are not at the normal theme parks. But uh, you know what? Uh, like Chris was saying earlier, this is an opportunity to come back and learn how to do Six Flags. This is a whole nother monster. Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole nother mountain. A whole nother mountain. <laughs> but overall, I'm coming back. Chris is coming back. Yes. Yeah, this was for me a five fire experience without a doubt. How, how many fires did you give it today? Fire dog, today was a five fire experience for sure. Yeah, even though this and like the food experience, yeah, cause the food took him like an hour. It was it mobile, it, it, let's just say it wasn't a good experience <laughs> for food. <laughs> but overall it was great, it was great. Definitely glad we got the uh, the annual pass. That's like, that's gonna be something we're gonna appreciate down the line. Cause the more we come, like just the better experience we're gonna have, you yeah. know? All right, Chris, thank you for your time. Yeah, man. Don't forget to hit that like button and thank you for supporting the fire. We are far to down, far to down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Uh. <laughs>